Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, May 4th meeting of the Finance Committee. Pursuant to the governor's order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Laws Chapter 30A, Paragraph 20, as well as the Select Board's emergency order dated March 16th, 2020, the Finance Committee will be using remote participation for this meeting. The audio of this meeting is being recorded and will be posted to the town's webpage within 24 hours in accordance with the governor's emergency action requirement of keeping the public informed of actions during this meeting. I would ask that all participants remotely attending this meeting, please state your name for identification purposes each time you speak throughout the meeting. At this time, I will take a roll call of attendance. Ms. Zemer. Here. Mr. Alfred. Present. Ms. Nersessian. Here. Mr. Whitaker. Here. Mr. Murphy. Here. Mr. Maxwell. Here. And I'm of course here, even though my video is currently not working, which is in case anybody's wondering, it's not that I'm purposely hiding myself. I'm just working on getting my camera decided not to participate today. So, um, okay, so let's get started. I do not have anything to report on the minute side. As I said, that's because we're getting all the stuff ready for town meeting and everything like that and getting a report last week. Um, so we'll get to that uh, probably in our first meeting post town meeting, we'll catch up on the last few weeks of minutes that we have to approve. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was in case you guys haven't noticed, although I'm sure you have, uh, the finance committee report did go out last Friday with all the recommendations and was posted to the town's web, web page. So um, anybody in the public who wants to see recommendations or any of the uh, detailed financial data, it's in the report that was posted under town meetings on the town website. So, okay, uh, let's go right into anything from Travis. Good. Do you want me to show for this how to get to the finance committee report? Uh, if you want to, couldn't hurt. <clears throat> okay. Uh, oh, I am disabled. Uh, who do we have? Justin or Chris? Can I have the sharing? Uh, in the meantime, uh, I would just point out <clears throat> again, so uh, as the chair just mentioned, everything's up online. Anybody who's prepping for town meeting, uh, documents have been uh, dispersed around town. Library has copies. Um, a couple of the local businesses uh, that we, we started doing last year during COVID so that copies would be available ahead of time, uh, such as Coffee Haven, Super Rat, um, Central Cafe, um, have copies dispersed around town, and then so library COA, you can pick them up at town hall if, if anybody wants a hard copy, and then everything's online. So let me just see. <clears throat> All right, I have not been given access, so I will show um, how to get to that report at some point soon. But if you, uh, as the um, as the chair mentioned, you go under the, the our website to town links, town meetings, and then there's the warrant by itself, and then there's also the finance committee report. And you can view all uh, dating back, uh, I believe, about 10 years. We have all those documents up there. Um, so the only thing that I have updated, obviously, um, I'm very uh, focused on the town meeting. So uh, all I would mention right now is once we get through town meeting, um, my plan is to uh, switch to end of FY21 mode. Um, at the moment, we have we still have uh, a few of the budgets that I had updated you on uh, with the Q3 update. Nothing outstanding at the moment. We are still watching the solid waste budget for potential overage at the end of the year. Um, may be able to be covered through um, favorability and other budgets and uh, potential facilities um, with some items that have come up uh, that you know we, we may look at maybe transferring money in between budgets um possibility for either of those um of the reserve fund but you know in the aggregate less than fifty thousand a hundred thousand dollars um the, the trash is probably potentially in the fifty thousand range sharon and i are looking at those uh, and projecting out costs at the moment so again, once we get through town meeting, I'll switch fully to you know closing on FY21 mode um, and send out some you know information to the group, uh, and then whenever the chair has a meeting scheduled after town meeting, we can get into that uh, and prep uh, for the May June timeline. Other than that, um, that's pretty much all I've been focused on. So if there's any questions on anything that's been out there, uh, I can certainly get into it. But that's all I would cover at the moment. Okay, uh, Mr. Alfred. This is uh, just a thought I had. Is this, a, this is a question for more for the chair, I guess. But are we planning on meeting between town meeting and the the election? 
Uh, no, we usually don't. So um, then we'll have to find the time to, uh, to to say goodbye, I guess. To uh, oh, that's true. That's true. But uh, well, we also have town meeting, mm-hmm. or we can schedule a five minute meeting or something the uh, following Tuesday. <laughs> or or, or Tim's going to wave off. And... Yeah. That's right. Just we should have a little video of the sunset, right? Walk into the sunset. The uh, yes, well, that that is true. That is true. Um, but we can we can wait till uh, towards towards the end of this meeting uh, to to do that if you want. But technically, we have two more meetings, right? We have uh, we'll have a town meeting and the pre meeting before town meeting. True. So. so Travis, you're now showing. Yeah, this is yeah. For anybody who wants to know how to get to the you go how to get to, to the finance committee report, he's showing you right now. Main page townhallston. <clears throat> us. Uh, under town links, town meetings, and then you can have just the warrant. You can have the finance committee report that has all the backup data uh, and the recommendations. Um, if anybody is interested in seeing what was the final recommendations by budget, by line item, we put that on the annual town meeting page, recommended omnibus budget. This is just that total view that we had looked at a few times. This is the view that's in um the finance committee report and then here after you get through that is is all the budgets that the finance committee had looked at the originals have been posted to the finance committee page by chris mayo along the way so these are the final versions um if anybody's interested thanks okay any other updates Travis? that's all i got okay okay so uh let's see i see chief cassidy on so uh, very quickly, Chief. I know we we have you can give us the update, but I have a couple of questions for you on uh, town meeting. So go ahead, Chief. Uh, not a lot to report in terms of the financial impact of our response to the COVID pandemic. Six new expenses posted to Munis since your last meeting, in the aggregate of about two thousand dollars worth of spending, in the areas of PPE, social distancing measures, and hiring and training. Okay. Okay. Now the, the question I had was, uh, what are the, what are the procedures? You know, we usually, I mean, given the town meetings less than a week away, um, have we decided? I'm just wondering from the finance committee's perspective, are we going to be doing what we did last July, where they're going to be separate, you know, separated tables? Are we going to? Am I? You know, I'm just more curious about like, am I going to have a dedicated microphone like we did in July, or are we going to go back to a podium? What are what are the plans so far? Uh, your format is going to be very similar to what we experienced in December. Um, so you will have a microphone. There will also be a uh, microphone uh, set up for public comment. There will be a couple locations in the auditorium where, where people can speak from. And then because we will have two other uh, overflow rooms ready, that will be uh, all coordinated between the school technology department and HCAT to ensure that everyone in the auditorium will know what people maybe who wish to be heard are saying from one or more of those overflow locations and they will be able to hear in real time what's taking place and everyone who's at home uh, it will all be one seamless package it will just look like they're going from one camera view to another i see now the one thing i was going to ask is is there any change to the you know traditionally in a non-pandemic situation we have you know we have the auditorium at the high school and then we have um, the little section that we is generally reserved, like kind of in the back for non-residents to sit. Um, if we end up using the overflow, is there going to be preference given to make the whole auditorium residents and then have the non-residents in one of the overflow rooms? So the uh, the non-resident voters will be in the library, and uh, the only exception to that would be someone who has been approved to speak to a specific article or non-resident department heads. Who right. have been uh, authorized to speak. Okay, because I was just thinking, you know, getting the most, you know, obviously you want to get the most residents in the art term we can. Okay, uh, Michelle? Um, you know, usually I bring my computer and my notes and this and that, but if, if we don't have a table, I'm not going to bring any of that. So our, our, we're not going to have a table, right? We're just the finance you, committee? Or? You still need to have uh, six-foot spacing, so I can't space all seven of you out at the front. So similar to December, it would be the chair, and if you wanted to have uh, the vice chair or another member of the committee uh, up front with him facing the audience, uh, that would be fine. Uh, but uh, I would expect that you would probably be planning on being at an auditorium chair. 
Okay. Good. I'll, tra uh, I'll travel light. Less to carry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions for the chief? Okay. Then uh, thank you very much, chief. The um, okay. So uh, at this point, I mean, this is you know we generally uh, before we get into anything we might want to discuss. I'll give you know we don't have many from the public here, but if uh, anybody wants to ask any questions about the report, uh, give everybody the opportunity to do that. And obviously what I would suggest is anybody who's either um, on the Zoom or who uh, joins the Zoom in the future while watching this uh, on HCAT or something, uh, if you do want to ask a question, just use the raise hand function in Zoom. Uh, generally speaking, that's as you see the committee members do that and that's the way I keep track of uh, who would like to speak. Um, but I'll give everybody a minute here. See if anybody wants to ask any questions. I also keep trying to work on my camera while I'm waiting. I don't know if they mentioned to you, um, but we've been having <clears throat> Zoom issues for about 10 days now where people have dropped off. Actually, my my being on your call last Tuesday night, I had issues where I got kicked off and got back on. Um, so been troubleshooting and we had issues at the school today with it too. So it does not seem like it is just the chair. Okay. Uh, it may be a Zoom issue. Well, that's that's good to know. Okay, yeah. No wonder their stock price has been cut in half. Well, well, I'm just, I mean, the weird thing, the weird thing for me is that uh, the camera is on and it shows that it's on and my audio, you know, my microphone is on because that's how you're hearing me. So it's just very weird. And then when I go into any other application that uses my webcam, it works perfectly. So yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out why Zoom is having such difficulty with it. But, uh, but in any case, okay, so it's my way to hide all the settings and everything, Ken? Yeah, yeah, I've, I, look, believe me, I've, I've done that. I've, I, I was laughing because I was looking at their kind of quote unquote troubleshooting advice. And it, you know, I had done everything plus more of what they said to troubleshoot. And I'm like, yeah, I did all that stuff already. And and the fact that it works, you know, it's it's like I've pretty much isolated it down to Zoom only. So there are a couple of things I suspect that would take longer for me to look at uh, than than I want to spend right now. But uh, um, but as I said, it was flaking out last week, and eventually it just decided to to start showing video at some point. So maybe it's a similar type of thing. But in any case, um, since I don't hear uh, anybody looking for information, we can proceed uh, on anything that the committee wants to discuss concerning town meeting. Because I, I have no, I mean, as, as just to be clear for everybody who may be watching home, right, this is really meant to be a QA, and a And so we don't conduct a lot of business at this point because our recommend, unless there's late breaking information, because at this point our recommendations have been made and our report has been published. So, uh, so the, this meeting probably won't be long if nobody has many questions. Uh, go ahead, Ms. Zima. Are we going to have any presentation on Warrant Article 9? Um, that's, yeah, I would say uh, certainly certainly the feedback I've gotten from individual members is that we should be saying something. And so, yes, I'm, I am planning on preparing a, uh, uh, some, some presentation to discuss the Finance Committee's view on Article 9. So I don't have it ready yet, though, so I can't, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't have, like, I drafted it ready to send out. I'll, I'll more than likely, it'll be like our presentation for town meeting where we'll review it in the pre-meeting because uh, I suspect between now and then I'll, I'll be working on it right till the last minute as I always am. So. So that, that actually, Michelle, are you, are you done? That, yes. So that actually sort of brings up something that I've been thinking about um, a lot really, well, I've been thinking a lot of things over the last couple of days and weeks. Um, and this is regarding, you know, regarding Article 9 and, um, you know, I know we, we, we talked about it, um, a little bit in our, in our sort of, our, our note, you know, our, our sort of, uh, our, our, what do you call it? Our letter to the, in the finance committee report. The warrant message, yeah. The warrant message, there you go. That's the official term for it. Um, but, you know, I sent, I sent to the, the, the committee members, the, uh, the sort of the original draft of the, uh, the governance committee's fact sheet last night. Um, and after seeing that and sort of that, you know, I know they took it out, but obviously you know, sort of clarifying, you know, what, what really the intent of the, of the warrant article is, 
Um, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on on Facebook over the last few days and weeks, and especially today. And I think there's just a lot of misinformation that's out there, and the misunderstanding in the community, and, and and not a full sort of grasp of 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 what exactly Article Nine is and does. And so I'm just wondering if I mean a presentation is good, um, but I'm wondering if even before that there's something that we might want to do. Um, to sort of, you know, what do you mean? Like put out some kind of press release or something like that? Yeah. Something I, I was trying to figure out what exactly, but, but maybe something like that. I mean, I, I suppose, I mean, if that's, you know, that's certainly something, um, if the, obviously, you know, it's up to the seven of us to decide, not me, but, but, uh, if that's something the committee wanted to do to kind of, uh, you know, get something out there ahead of town meeting, uh, kind of expressing our viewpoint and maybe shredding some of the misconceptions straight. Um, you know, I'm fine with that, but keep in mind that this is, you know, we wouldn't be meeting again until um, the pre-meeting before town meeting. I mean, the only, at this point, it's Tuesday. The earliest we could meet would be Friday. So, you know, I mean, you know, to meet the open meeting law. So, so if there was a desire to do that, um, we'd have to schedule, I'd have to post for a meeting on Friday to approve it before we could send it out. So, yeah, I mean, I, I do think it's important to, that if we did something that would be sent out before town meeting, um, so that people could see it and then even maybe have copies at town meeting. I don't know what, what other people think. I mean, I, well, certainly I meeting Friday and turning something around quickly, um, I think gives people plenty of time over the weekend to see it, digest it, et cetera. So I would be in favor of that, Dan. Okay, okay. Well, what are, what are the other members think? Is, do I see nods or? I can't meet on Friday. This is Vin, because I'm getting my coronavirus COVID vaccine shot Friday at 640. Good, good. It, it, well, we can meet at, you know, 650, because it only takes, I'm just kidding. We'll meet while you're, uh, you can dial into the Zoom from the recovery, sure. That's from what the recovery thing. Vin, is that AM? No, it's a PM. So it was like I think it's the last one they have there. It's Gillette, so they're closing it down. So yeah, I, I couldn't do Friday night, but but I could probably do. I mean, I, I wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't well think let me ask the question. It seems like everybody's in favor. So the question is, we we need at least a quorum, right? So so what do people think about you know late after late afternoon Friday? Well, do, do you think you can get a draft for us to review, or is it like a, a yeah. session where we're going to have things out and write it as a group? Well, I will I will put together a draft just to be, look. The, the, what I'm hoping to do, what what I, if this is what you want, I'll try to put something together. I will send it out to the committee for review ahead of Friday, but then Friday we'll have to you know edit and finalize it. So, you know, I mean that that's. That, that's what it'll come down to, right? I, I mean, obviously, I don't want to get into it. We're, we're not going to have, I don't think, the time or the ability to meet for a very long time on Friday. So so I would I, I would guess that that's what it's going to end up. I'll end up having to write a draft to a starting point, like I do with the warrant message. Do you think we we'll need more it. than half an hour or 45 minutes? What? Do you think we need more than half an hour or 45 minutes? No, no. I mean, I I, I think that, you know, we, we, our, if our past history is any guide, our editing takes... 15 minutes tops. So, so we just discuss what's in there, wording changes, you know? Um, so if that's the case, then, then, then the question is what time do we, can we get a half hour from at least four people uh, on Friday and what, what time would work about work for people? I'd love to find a time that all of us can meet. Ben, can you do something during the day for half an hour? Yeah. Um, the other thing I have Friday at two 30, I have an eye exam. <laughs> Well, oh, you're just you're, you're, but you know, after that, I you have a fun day. So you should have scheduled your eye exam for the 15 minutes after the vaccination. No, what about first school. thing in the morning, like eight before everybody starts work or 7 30? I don't know what time people start, but we could just could well, that work? We, can't, we can't, we can't do before 8 30. Oh, the only oh. reason for that is that I have to post it, so I can't assume that I can't post. I mean, just because of you know. Town hall doesn't open till eight thirty. I have to send in the list. It has to be posted. So assume you need a half hour, an hour for that. So we'd have to, we couldn't meet any earlier than like nine thirty, you know, nine nine thirty at the earliest. Can so noon on Friday, anyways. But anytime afternoon, I'm totally available. What'd you say, Tim? You were very quiet. 
Sorry, I can't meet until noon, but then any time afternoon, I'm totally available. <laughs> so, so, Vin, you're you're. Two. I have availability at one thirty until two thirty. So, and that's it. And then after that, it's well, exams. Then I have it. Yeah, and then I have my the exam, and then I have it from three thirty, say four o'clock onwards, until I have to drive down to Gillette. So, I could do one thirty. I don't know what everyone else's availability is. Wait, so Vin, are you done at one? Your availability is done at one thirty. I have availability after the eye exam, and the eye exam is scheduled from two thirty. Assuming that I they don't dilute my eyes. <laughs> I, no, 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 but before that, I like, well, no, uh, well, I'm just saying. So, so between, so, so, okay, so, so up to, I have availability. And I have a noon to one, so I have availability. Let's say from it'll be tight one to two, two o'clock because it's in town. The eye exam, it's over. Okay, and then after the eye exam, before the shot, do you have any availability? Yes, yes, I do. So, when would that be? Uh, let's say it takes me about 30, 40 minutes to drive down, assuming no traffic. So. Um, from 3.30 until 5, 5.30. So could we do something like four, right in between yep. the two? I could do that. Would that work for everybody? Just do a half hour, four o'clock? You do four. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So there you go. Four o'clock on Friday. Sorry to be difficult. I tried to get everything out of the way and plan. <laughs> and this was not on my radar, people. Yes, well, it wasn't on ours until five minutes ago, so. So the uh, okay, so so four o'clock. Let me just make a note of that so I don't forget that we negotiated the four o'clock time here. So four o'clock Friday. Okay. And I will just I will just make the agenda say literally to review and post a discussion concerning uh, press release concerning article nine. Yep. Okay. So we said I'm sorry four. Yep. Yes, four p.m. Okay, I was changing another meeting. <laughs> I didn't hear our meeting. <laughs> okay, thanks. But that uh, okay. Anybody have anything else they want to bring up? Anybody uh, discussing, especially with regards to the warrant or anything like that? Anybody here? You know, not that we have to discuss it. I'm just saying that uh, you know, once the report, I, I you know, obviously my focus last week was making sure that after we finished everything last Tuesday, that all got into the report. And so I do want to say thank you to Travis because Travis. Uh, you know, uh, uh, definitely help make the process. I mean, it's always relatively smooth in the sense that we've always had the help of the select board, you know, select board's office in getting the, the report done. But, uh, um, you know, Travis and Mary and Sharon uh, were, we, we, every, everything was a well-oiled machine this year. So we were able to uh, to turn out all the, you know, they, they were preparing all the tables in advance. So we got to, got, you know, Travis and I were able to stitch it all together on Thursday and get it out on Friday. So... Quick question: Where are we meeting beforehand? Okay. Yes, I posted us for the field house again, only because of the. I wasn't sure. I, again, you just heard Chief Cassidy about the coronavirus restrictions. So, in keeping with what we did in December, I said I was debating whether to switch it to the library. But then I said I don't know if we still have protocols, so let's just go with the field house again. So, uh, so we're posted for the field house, um, which means we'll be standing, but that'll be fine because we'll be. Uh, the rest of the time. There should be chairs <clears throat> because it's going to be uh, a third site. So you, you won't have to stand this time. Hopefully, I would say that there's probably going to oh, be okay. chairs for you to set up with. Oh, so the field house is the third overflow site? Yeah, Chief, correct me if I'm wrong. That That's the tertiary site, I believe. That is correct. What's, what's okay. the capacity of that going to be? Well, what's yeah. our capacity total going to be? That's the real question. Are you expecting a lot of people to show up, really? Who, who knows? We with have a primary few, with with the primary, secondary, and tertiary locations. We could do upwards of five hundred and fifty. Oh, that'd be like a whole town election in one shot. There, <laughs> <laughs> we do have um, what we've made the point a few times now <clears throat> because there's been interest, um, and there've been people who've made the statement that they'd like to come and vote on five 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 Hoppingbrook, which I understand is a great deal of interest in, and and I understand you know the the level. Um, of discussion uh, at a town wide level, but at the end of the day, there is nothing on this warrant specific to that topic. Um, so we've tried to make that point, but people continue to bring it up uh, to Vin's question earlier. So we're wondering if that's going to drive um, uh, numbers. Uh, there's also been a few people who've indicated that they're going to come for various topics. Um, and we are, you know, again, if anybody 
is listening now and, and intends to speak but is not a resident, you do need to get in touch with the clerk or myself so we can put that on that motion that goes ahead of the warrant um, for any non-residents to speak. Normally we put staff and anybody who's there to support a board or committee, um, but anybody else should be uh, contacting myself or the, the town clerk to get on that list if they know that they're gonna wanna speak. Yes, good reminder. And and by the way, you know, I, I will say, Travis, that just once I'd like you to leave off the school superintendent because the school superintendent does not need to be on that article on that article. I say that I used to say that every year to Jeff. Doesn't the superintendent by law is allowed to speak at a at a town meeting regardless of whether they're a resident or not? So so technically we don't need to have him on there, but we put him on is there. Is that also true of the town administrator? If we left him off, would we mute him? That's right. <laughs> yeah. No. I don't know. That's actually a good point. I don't know. Probably if, uh, want to be off. Just saying. <laughs> I'm sure I don't think it's covered by state law. That would be we have to check in our uh, statute, you know, whether it allows them to speak without approval at town meeting. But uh, but I do know. I remember I dug that up. I don't know why I came across it, but years and years ago, I was looking at something about school, the laws governing schools, and I found this thing about town meeting. And there's there's a specific exception written in the in the law that says that the superintendent of schools is always allowed to speak at a town meeting, regardless of whether they're a resident of the town. So, so that means that sometime in the history of the Commonwealth, some school superintendent needed to speak and somebody took it to the state house and they wrote it into the law. Cause you know that something like that would not have been just written in from the beginning, right? Somebody, somebody would have said, geez, maybe we need to have the superintendent able to speak. So anyway, so uh, at this point uh, we're done with everything that we need to do. And as I said, this is really for questions and I'm seeing none, so I don't want to prolong this meeting any longer than we have to. So if none of the membership and none of the public have any questions, then uh, we can end this one early in preparation for uh, next week. I'll take the time to try to start drafting a press release. Are, are we going to hear from the CPC on Monday? Well, remember, we, the only thing we need to hear from, we will, oh. we, can, we can hear from them. But remember, they came in and talked to us already. The only thing that's different that we talked about last time was the was the, the sunsetting thing mm -hmm. for, for the work, uh, but but yeah, remember they you know he Frank came and told us when he talked to us he basically said uh, this is what's you know it hadn't been formally approved but this is what he expected to do so everything that came out that we recommended um, was in line with what he told us which is why we went along with it. the only additional thing since then was the sunsetting but you know the seven of us are capable of understanding why that sunset needed to be extended after the pandemic hit when we appropriated the funds. Okay. So just had a note in my note. I had a note yeah. in the notes. Okay. Well I can I can certainly ask him if you want to talk to him. I can yeah. certainly ask him to come. But I'm just saying that that we, you know, our recommendation was based on, you know, the information he told us and the fact that the sunset was a pretty obvious extension to what, yeah. what was prior had previously been approved. So, so so one one thought I had since we um since we potentially could be in three different rooms, will all votes need to be a hand count? The clerk um, is was working on the staffing for that right now. Um, it may be the voice count per room, depending on the scenario. Um, but there's going to have to there there could potentially be quite a bit of of counting per room. Yep, there's going to be a, a lot of coordination and uh, communications between the rooms for the staff. The uh, clerk was planning on, on co-moderators or assistant moderators, I should say, in the secondary and tertiary location, uh, as well as counters in each of those locations. See, see, they can, they can have it again, the well-oiled machine. Is that something we have in the bylaws? About what? Assistant moderators. I'm just kidding. I'm, just, I'm not going to back. Well, not formally. It's, not formally. You know, it, it, what, what that means is there will be someone who will be in, charged with maintaining the order in the room and recognizing someone who wishes to speak and be heard. It's not that they're an assistant to the moderator who is elected. Gotcha. Or appoint, appointed. So, so they will indicate to the moderator that someone wishes to speak from one of these rooms. That's what I would presume, right? Correct. So, it's, yeah. it's, it's a room monitor. They get a little armband? I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> is, a, is a room monitor senior or junior to a hall monitor? That's that's why that's why I said you know, like, well depends if you go by guys by square footage or you know length the linear length or something like that, right? Whether you're talking halls or rooms. So All right. that's a discussion for another day. Motion to adjourn. Okay.
Do I have a second for that motion? Second. Okay, that is not subject to debate, so we'll proceed to a vote. Ms. Zemer? Aye. Mr. Alfred? Aye. Ms. Nersessian? Aye. Mr. Whitaker? Yes. Mr. Murphy? Yes. And Mr. Maxwell? Yes. Okay, and I vote yes. That concludes the Tuesday, May 4th meeting of the Finance Committee. Thank you for joining us this evening. As you just heard, uh, town meeting is next Monday, May 10th, starting at 7.30 p.m. at the high school. And uh, there are a lot of important things, not just uh, the articles we've been discussing, but also the budget. Uh, so, you know, uh, these are the things that determine how much you pay in taxes and how your money gets spent. So we encourage everybody to attend. But for tonight, we're done. So thank you and good night.